all okay. We wrote this song at a time where we were kind of really going through it and there was just a lot of work and hard times going on and I think really that's what inspired us to write a song about labor for the Lord. So really the song has a message about persevering and endurance. At the same time, the music video really talks about God's provision. So we wanted the song to remind people that despite all the work we're doing and all the work you guys are doing, God's always got your back and he's always the one really taking your burdens. So we shot the video in Acomal, Mexico. We met with some locals there and had them do some acting scenes. The maid, who was actually a maid, the waiter, who was actually a waiter, and the boss, who was actually a boss, so it worked out. <laughs> so it was really cool to connect with them, be able to reach out and just learn from each other and have a good time, really. <laughs> Stop, you're gonna get yourself all sweaty. I'm cleaning my ears right now because somebody's gonna whisper in them. Oh, yes. We're gonna have the camera right up in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting when we came up with Matthew 626 because it was a few of us kind of sitting together and figuring out ideas for the video and we all thought of which scripture it should be. We were all thinking, yeah, it's that raven one, we want to do that, that raven scripture. And so I looked it up on the internet because we couldn't remember which one it was, where it was, and it ended up being Matthew 626. And what's really funny is... 626 is my birthday, and we went out filming in Mexico for my birthday. So, you know, we were out there on my birthday, and really that was just a God sign to me. It was like, okay, confirmation. Still on the set doing the bike scene. This has been really hot and really hard. <laughs> I would say it's one of the most, the most fun I've had recording also. If you listen closely, you can hear all the, the little noises and sounds in the background. I really enjoyed that because I felt like it was kind of like a Lion King sort of feel to it. And that's kind of what I was going for. Something fun. We're going to go boogie board after this is over. Hop in those waves. Thank you for that, guys. Everybody who's been a part of it, it's been really, really awesome. People I feel like out here are so sweet and they're super, super nice. So we've had a lot of good experiences out here. Really, really thankful. So the world vision thing came about because I've really felt God kind of tugging on my heart for a long time about just giving and being a part of one body, you know, being as one and helping each other. It talks about it a lot in the Bible to help these children and to have a childlike heart ourselves. So I just felt like I could really relate to that. And really, I hope that it can encourage you guys too to just want to connect and just be one and help each other. And, you know, if God puts it on your heart to sponsor a child or, you know, even donate money to their foundation, I just, I think that'd be a really great thing. Thank you for inviting me. It was good memories. I used to work for TV and just to do commercials. So thank you very much for coming here with you. So it's got the, it's all okay, Matthew 626, and then my website. These are actually feathers too, so they're bird feathers to be reminded of the Bible scripture in the video. That was a hard photo shoot. It wasn't glamorous, like it looked. That was no water in my eyes. The way it's dipping. We're surviving. So once again, I just want to thank all of you for all of your support and all of your beautiful feedback. Just your help with the video, everybody who helped out and was a part of it. Thank you so, so, so much. And I pray that this can be an encouragement to you that, you know, every time you see a bird, you can be reminded of God's provision and be reminded it's all okay. Hola, me llamo Gloria. Y es un placer estar con ustedes, participar en su video. Gracias. That's a wrap, folks. <laughs>